Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the varsity gym here at Springfield High School for tonight's non-league contest between the Eagles of Archbishop Shanahan against our own hometown Lady Cougars. Uh, this is the last of the non-league games for the Lady Cougars to get warmed up for the Central League schedule, which will start Thursday night when the Lady Cougars travel to Harriton to play against the Rams at Harriton. Tonight, opponent for the Lady Cougars, again, is Shanahan, Archbishop Shanahan Eagles. They are a very, very fine program out of Chester County. They come in with a record of two wins and no losses. They beat Villa Maria and they beat Reading High School. Uh, two very storied programs. So this is going to be a tough game for the Cougars. Shanahan is led by their big center, number five, Sam Samantha Blumenthal. She's very strong. She plays very well. So the Cougars' challenge will be to stop her tonight. The rest of the starting lineup for Shanahan will be Lauren Foster, Fiona Duncesi, Abby Wolf, Sam Blumenthal, as mentioned, and Ali Bretz. The Lady Cougars come into this game with a 0-1 record. They lost in a really good game on Saturday against another fine team from Chester County, Westchester Ruston. Westchester Ruston plays in the same league out in Chester County as Shanahan, and they went tooth and nail last year with Ruston getting the better of it. Ruston went on to win the league out there in Chester County and also went on to win District 1 title in the 5A category. Springfield is a larger high school, so our girls compete in the 6A bracket in basketball. Our team also, Springfield also did very well last year. Made it to the Central League playoffs, a loss to Haverford, and then went into the District 1 playoffs and lost to Abington. So the program here is very strong under the excellent leadership of Kai McNichol. Other coaches for Springfield are Fran Burbage, an assistant coach, been with the team for many years, Ann McKnight, and then another assistant, Amanda Hopkins, and the final assistant on the Cougars staff, Alyssa Angelos. So the Cougars come in tonight in a early season game, again, trying to determine who are the go-to scorers, who are the defenders that they can count on, Statistically, in that first game against Ruston, Springfield's leading scorer was Cora Fratori with 24 points. Uh, no one else on the squad was in double figures. Kylie O'Donnell, a junior, had five points. Molly Clifford, a junior, had five. And again, Cora Fratori, a senior, had 24. Cora is one of the co-captains on the team this year along with fellow captain Grace Ellis. So we will be uh, having the announcement of the starting lineups here uh, shortly, and we'll be getting underway. We will have the playing of our national anthem to honor America. So I will let you know when all those activities are going on. Uh, and there's the buzzer to call the teams off the court and over to their respective benches. In, in, J, in JV action before this game, Springfield was victorious 24 to 20 against Shanahan. So as I mentioned, Cougars will open up their Central League schedule, which is always very daunting, on, Tuesday, on Thursday night, I'm sorry. Uh, the early season predictions are for Haverford, Garnet Valley, and Conestoga to be the three top teams in the league, followed by Springfield and Pencrest and perhaps Marple Newtown. 
the Central League uh, is very balanced, usually has several teams that go on and go pretty deep into the district playoffs. Um, last year, Haverford went to the state either semifinals or finals, did very, very well. And as I mentioned, Springfield did well, played uh, three rounds of the state tournament and played against uh, Abington and lost. So the starters for Archbishop Shanahan, number 10, Lauren Foster. Number 12, Lauren, I'm sorry, Fiona Ducheski. Number 22, Abby Wolf. Number 25, Sam Blumenthal, their leading scorer, the leading rebounder, and that's the girl the Cougars are gonna have to stop. And their final starter is number 40, Ali Bretz. And now the starting lineup for our hometown Cougars. Starting at guard, freshman, number 35, Megan Zane. Starting at center, senior, number 40, Corinne Gutton-Williams. Starting at guard, number five, a junior, Molly Clifford. Starting at forward, number 15, senior, Grace Ellis. And the final starter for the Cougars is senior, number 14, Cora Fratori. Cora had a wonderful game against Rustin, scoring 24 points. So at this point, we are going to pause for the playing of our national anthem. My name is Stan Johnson, class of 1969 from Springfield High School. My <clears throat> usual broadcasting partners, Don Cadge and Don Mooney, are both not available tonight. So I will be doing uh, the play-by-play -play and adding in color comments as I can. I'll do my best to keep score accurately to let you know how many points the, the various Cougar players are scoring. Showtime. Jumping center for the Cougars is number 40, Corn Gutton Williams and Sam Blumenthal. Number five, I'm sorry, number 25 for the Bishop Shanahan Eagles. Ball's in the air, jump has occurred. Christine Gutton-Williams comes down with it. 
with the ball is Cora Fratori. Cora kicks it out. Molly Clifford puts the shot up, no good. Gutton Williams battling under for that rebound, loses the ball out of bounds. The Eagles will inbound. Inbounding is number 10, Lauren Foster. Cougars starting out in a zone defense, a 2-3 zone. Steal by Fratori, in for the layup, and it's two points. Cougars score first. Another steal by Molly Clifford. Molly goes in, ball is tipped out of bounds. A nice defensive play by number 22, Abby Wolf. It'll be Cougars ball under their own basket. Molly Clifford will inbound the ball for the Cougars. Shot put up is no good. Ball goes out of bounds on the rebound, last touched by the Cougars. Again, Shanahan will inbound under the Cougar basket. Just one minute into play here, ladies and gentlemen. So we're just getting started on what everyone expects to be a very competitive game. That pass is stolen away by Megan Zane. Ball pass to Molly Clifford. Corey for Torrey with the ball. Shanahan playing a man-to-man -man defense. Kareem Gutton Williams with the ball, being guarded closely by Sam Blumenthal. Cora Fratori now with the ball. Pass comes in to Corin Gutton Williams. It's tipped away. Megan Zane goes up for the shot. Rebound pulled down by the Cougars. Megan Zane goes up for the shot again. It's no good. Rebound pulled down by number 12, Fiona Duchesi for the Eagles. Two minutes of action going by now. Cougars lead 2-0. Cougars playing a zone defense, continue to play a 2-3. Foul called on that drive on Corn Gutton Williams. So that will send Abby Wolf to the line to shoot two. First shot is up and good. Abby's second shot is in the air. Short, rebound pulled down by the Eagles. Nice move to the basket by Sam Blumenthal. Foul called on Alyssa Estep, who just came into the game for the Cougars. That's the Cougars' second team foul, Alyssa's first. Blumenthal's first shot is up and good. That ties the game at two. Second shot is no good. Read down, pulled down by Grace Ellis. Foul called on that attempted put back. Foul called on Fiona Duchesi. So that will have Grace Ellis going to the line. Her first foul shot is up and good. She'll get a second one. Second one is up and good. The Cougars take a four to two lead. Cougars showing full court pressure here. Megan Zane applying the pressure against Abby Wolf. Cougars have now gone to a man-to-man -man defense. 
Nice defense there by Cora Fratori. Pass goes out to Alyssa Estep. That's Alyssa's first two points of the night. Cougars are continuing to show full court pressure. That foul is called on Alyssa Estep. That's her second foul, team's third. Coming into the game for the Cougars is Kylie O'Donnell. Uh, yes, Kylie O'Donnell, a, a junior. That loose ball is retrieved by Shanahan. Number 12, Fiona Duchesi. Foul called on Cora Fattori. So that's the Cougars' fourth team foul. And we're not, we're only about three minutes into the game. Cougars continue in a man to man defense. Nice defense there by the Cougars. Shot put up, rebound pulled down by the Cougars. Ball goes into for Tori. Tori drives to the hoop. Shot is no good, but she's fouled by number 22, Abby Wolf. So Cora will go to the line to shoot two. Cora's first shot is up and good. Cora again is the leading scorer of the team and probably the returning player with the most experience. She played a lot as a sophomore and last year as a junior. Her second shot is up and no good. Read down, pulled up by number 35, <laughs> Megan Zane. Great rebound, great putback. Cougars playing a man to man, full court pressure. Cougars with a nine to two lead. <laughs> Fouls called on number 12, that's Fianna Duchesi, who is quickly removed from the game. Cora Fattori brings the ball across the timeline. She has the ball, she drives to the lane, puts up the running jumper. It's good. About three and a half minutes remaining here in the first quarter. Rebound, or that three-pointer is no good. Rebounder pulled down, no good. Megan Zane. <laughs> Megan Zane, a very impressive freshman, pulls down that rebound, maintains her poise, gets the ball out, and Cougars now in possession in their own half of the court. Under three minutes now in the first quarter. Basket. Great pass from Grace Ellis into Megan Zane. She gets her second basket, so she has four points. Cougars with a 11 point lead. Very nice defense there by Molly Clifford getting the tie up. Coming in is Siona Land, L-A-N-D, coming in for the Eagles. Great effort there by Blumenthal to get a bucket, but great defense by the Cougars to deny her an easy shot. 
Eagles inbound the ball. N number 10, Lauren Foster with the ball. Goes into Blumenthal. It's no good. Rebound pulled down by... On that scramble, <clears throat> Coach McNichol was very quick to see the uh, situation there and called a timeout. While the Cougars had possession. So when we resume, the Cougars will have possession underneath the Shanahan basket. Two minutes and 16 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Cougars lead 13 to 2. Molly Clifford inbounds the ball to number 14, Cora Fertori. Kylie O'Donnell in for the Cougars. Ball is kicked out. It was tipped by Bishop Shanahan. So Cougars will take possession. Megan Zane inbounds the ball. Cora Fertori with the ball. Kylie O'Donnell to Molly Carroll. Kylie O'Donnell around. Megan Zane goes inside. That pass is contested. W went into Grace Ellis. Megan Zane. Molly Carroll with the ball. Archbishop Carroll, uh, I'm sorry, Shanahan is now playing a zone defense. They shifted into a zone on that possession. A foul called on Cora Fattori. That's her second foul. So getting up quickly for the Cougars is number 13, Lil DiTrolio, a sophomore at Springfield High School. Shot is up and no good. That second foul shot is up and good. First one was no good. Cougars now in possession, a minute and 18 remaining. Cougars with a 10 point lead, 13 to three. Cougars moving the ball around the perimeter. Shot goes up by number 10, Kylie O'Donnell. It's good for a three pointer. Cougars with our largest lead of the game, 13 points. Nice shot on that play by Taylor Ballenbach. 35 seconds remaining now in the first quarter. Coach McNichol calling for one shot. She wants to save clock on the time. Same time on the clock. Sixteen seconds. Lil DeTrolio handling the ball out front with Molly Carroll. Goes inside to Grace Ellis. Shot goes up. No good. Rebound put up. No good. Nice rebound underneath there by number 10, Kylie O'Donnell. So at the end of the first quarter, ladies and gentlemen, the Cougars with a 11 point lead, 16 to five. There is a new rule in PIAA this year for fouls. So they count fouls by quarter and on the fifth foul, it's a two point, uh, I'm sorry, two shot foul. So there is no longer any one on one or one and one in high school basketball. If it's a shooting foul, it's always two shots. If it's not a shooting foul, the team gets up to four. On the fifth, they shoot two. 
So at the end of the first quarter, the Cougars lead 16 to five. Now we understand a couple of Shanahan's top players are not uh, dressed tonight. Uh, there was a uh, accident and they are not cleared yet to play. So they may be a little bit shorthanded tonight. Uh, there's a couple players on the bench in uh, civilian clothes. So that could be uh, affecting the overall team performance. So we are underway now in the second quarter. Um, Molly Clifford inbounds to Lil DeTrolio. Lil DeTrolio gets it over to Megan Zane. Back out to up top to Molly Ke Clifford. The Eagles playing a zone defense now. This is a change. They had started out in a man-to-man. -man. Corinne Gutton-Williams getting set to come into the game. Cougars are playing a man-to-man -man defense. The ball stepped away, re recovered. by number 10, Kylie O'Donnell, and the ball stolen by the Eagles. Foul called on number 13, Lil DeTrolio. That's her first, team's first. Eagles with the ball. Just under seven minutes to play now in the second quarter. Traveling call on Sam Blumenthal. Nice defense there by Corrine Gutton Williams. Alyssa Estep checks in for the Cougars, re replacing number 35, Megan Zane. Molly Clifford with the ball. Again, Shanahan playing his own. Going to the basket, <laughs> Melissa Estep. That's her second basket of the evening for a total of four points. Cougars with a 13 point lead, 18 to five. Cougars again playing a man to man defense. That's a carry called by the officials on the Eagles. Cougars take possession. Five minutes and 40 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. We got a jump ball called on that rebound. Both teams scrambling for the rebound. Possession arrow belongs to the Archbishop Shanahan Eagles. So they will inbound the ball under the Cougar basket. Nice drive to the basket by number 22. That's Abby Wolf. We've got a jump ball called on the rebound. Similar action to the other end of the court. So the Cougars get possession on this possession arrow. Just over five minutes remaining now in the third, in the second quarter. I'm sorry. Oh, nice move to the basket by Kylie O'Donnell. Ball goes around the rim and out. Nice effort by Kylie O'Donnell. Eagles come down with the rebound.
Attempted move to the basket there by Abby Wolf. Ball was tipped by the Cougars going out of bounds. Coming into the game for the Cougars is number 14, um, Cora Fattori, and number Aaron Trude. Aaron Trude is wearing number 22, not 24, so. Nice move to the basket and shot by number 10, Lauren Foster. So the Cougars lead is cut to 11, 18 to seven, just about at the halfway mark here in the second quarter, about four minutes remaining. Nice step by Abby Wolf to steal that pass, goes right to the basket. Basket is good. And she's fouled. Foul is called on Cora Fattori. That's her third. Team's second. Coming, ready to come into action for the Cougars is number 13, Lil Detrolio. There's a discussion amongst the officials here. So the officials have now realized that uh, Aaron Trude came into the game wearing number 22. She is in the scorebook as 24. So that is a technical foul. So number 22 will shoot the technical foul. Abby Wolf will shoot the technical. Foul shot is up and good. She gets a second one as part of the technical foul. No good. And now she gets the technical foul following the basket. I'm sorry, not the technical foul, the personal foul. So the score after all of that is Cougars lead by seven, 18 to 11. So Aaron Trude is shows in the uh, roster book and on our program wearing number 24, but in fact she's wearing number 22. And that is a technical foul when you have a player go in who's not on the roster. So we've got a timeout here. Uh, Springfield coach Kai McNichol called the timeout. So she has three timeouts remaining. Shanahan has five. Springfield has committed three t fouls here in the first four minutes of the second quarter. The Eagles have not been charged with any fouls at this point. So when play resumes, the Eagles, uh, the, I'm sorry, the Eagles will inbound the ball following the technical foul. So the Cougars have only scored two points so far here in the second quarter. Shanahan has been able to close the gap. You got a foul called on Karen Gutton Williams. That's her second. Grace Ellis comes in to replace Karen Gutton Williams.
Ball tipped away by the Cougars. Nicely done. Kylie O'Donnell comes out on the run. Shot is up and good. That's five points on the evening for Kylie and gets the Cougars on the board. Now leading by nine. Cougars playing a zone defense now. So Coach McNichol has been going back and forth between a man and a zone. Nice. Nice shot, nice rebound, kicked out. Rebound again comes out to the Eagles. Long possession here for the Eagles. Foul called on Grace Ellis. That's her first. Team's fifth. So from this point on, any foul here in the second quarter will be a two-point shot. Blumenthal's first foul shot is up and good. That gives her two points on the night. And her second one is up. No good. Fight for the rebound. They got a, they got a timeout called by the Eagles, so that's their first timeout taken. They have four remaining. Two minutes and 34 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Cougars lead by eight, 20 to 12. And the Cougars have committed five personal fouls, so any fouls called on the Cougars for the rest of the contest, rest of the quarter, I'm sorry, rest of the quarter will be two shots. Cougars leading scorer, Cora Fratori, has three fouls, so Coach McNichols not going to be able to put her on the floor for a while. So when play resumes, the Eagles will inbound the ball under their own basket. Player has the ball, here we go. Comes in to Blumenthal. Blumenthal kicks it out. Cougars now playing a man-to-man -man defense. Shot is up and good. Cuts the Cougars lead to six. Cougars lead at one point was this up to 14. Shot put up by number 22 for the Cougars. That's Aaron True. Shots are no good. Rebound pulled down by the Eagles. Megan Zane gets up off the bench, getting ready to come in at the next stoppage. Blumenthal fakes the shot, passes it off. Blumenthal kicks it out. Rebound by Blumenthal. Ball's taken away. By Grace Ellis. We got a foul called on Blumenthal. That's her first. Team's first here in the second quarter. Megan Zane now in for the Cougars. Lil Detrolio bringing the ball across the timeline. A minute and 12 remaining here in the first quarter. Megan Zane shots up and good. Ooh. That's the way to come into a game. The Cougars lead now up to 11, 23 to 14. So Detroit almost makes that say, almost makes that steal.
Oh, nice scramble there. However, the Cougar, when they were touching the ball, was out of bounds. So Shanahan will inbound under their own basket. 43 seconds remaining in the third, second quarter. Long three-pointer put up by number 10, Lauren Foster. It's good. It cuts the Cougars' lead back to six. Nice move to the basket by Alyssa Estep. That's her third bucket, six points. 10 seconds remaining. Cougars in a man-to-man -man defense. <laughs> Foul called on Grace Ellis, that's her second. Sam Blumenthal to go to the line to shoot two. First shot is up and good. It's a seven point lead now for the Cougars. Second one is up and around the rim, no good. Five seconds. Nice move to the basket. All right, Kylie O'Donnell. Foul called on number 23. It's Taylor Ballenbach. That's her first. Kylie O'Donnell will go to the line to shoot two. First shot is no good. Second shot. We have 1.7 seconds remaining. One point seven seconds remaining after this foul shot. Shots up, no good. Rebound goes out of bounds off of the Cougars. Point four seconds remaining. So at the end of the first half, the Cougars lead twenty five eighteen. So the Cougars scored nine points in that quarter after a very, very slow start, and the Eagles scored 13. So our leading scorers here for the Cougars Let me tally this up real quickly. Alyssa Estep had six points on three field goals. Megan Zane had seven points on two two-point field goals and one three-pointer. So Megan is the leading scorer for the Cougars with seven. Alyssa Estep with six. Kylie O'Donnell has five. Cora Fratori also has five. And Grace Ellis has two. For the Cougars total of 25. For the Eagles. Lauren Foster has five. Sianna Land has one on a foul shot. Abby Wolf has three foul shots and a field goal for a total of five. Taylor Ballenbach has a field goal for a total of two. And Sam Blumenthal has five also with three foul shots and one field goal for their total of 18. So we hope you're enjoying the telecast, ladies and gentlemen. Again, my name is Stan Johnson. It's a pleasure to have you with us. We will be back with about two minutes to go before action starts in the second half. We'll take what amounts to about a six-minute break. So we'll be back and give you the second half action.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the varsity gym here at Springfield High School. Both teams are starting to come out onto the floor to do some warm-up action here to get ready for the second half of action. One statistics from the first half, the Cougars, Lady Cougars shot three for six from the foul line for a very easy to calculate 50%. The Eagles of Archbishop Shanahan shot seven for 13. That's yes, slightly over 50%. So 13 shots from the charity stripe for the Eagles and six for the Cougars. In terms of foul trouble, only one player for the Eagles has more than one foul, and that's number 12, a starter, Fiona Duchesky. For the Lady Cougars, Cora Fratori, their leading scorer in the opener on Saturday, has three personal fouls. Grace Ellis, number 15, has two. Corinne Gutton Williams, Springfield senior, has two. And Alyssa Estep, number 11, has two. So Cougars have more fouls. Eagles, not as many. So we're ready to start here. The starters for the Cougars here in the second half will be their starting lineup. Number 15, Grace Ellis. Number 14, Sakura Fattori. Number 11, Lessa Estep is in, in place of Corin Gutton Williams. Number five, Molly Clifford. And number 35, Megan Zane. Eagles inbound side court. We are underway here to start action in the second half. Cougars lead by seven, 25-18. Ball tip, good hands by Cora Fratori. Ball goes out of bounds. Eagles will inbound side court. Number 22 will do the inbounding, and that's Abby Wolf. Number one is in at point guard for the Eagles. That's Abby Garrity. Her three-pointer is no good. That ball was tipped out of bounds by the Eagles, so the Cougars will inbound against side court. Molly Clifford to inbound. Finds Cora Fratori. Finds Megan Zane. Back to Megan Zane. Cora Fattori to Megan Zane. Cora drives the lane, nice dish off. Grace Ellis misses the shot, comes down with the rebound and misses the follow. Then the Eagles come down with the rebound. Cougars playing a zone defense. Rebound pulled down by Sam Blumenthal. Rebound pulled down by Alyssa Estep on that miss. Cora Fattori with the ball. Working to drive the lane, puts up the runner. It's good. Cougars score first here in the second half. Stretches their lead to nine, 27-18. Just about two minutes gone by here in the first quarter, in the third quarter. And we've got travel called on Abby Garrity. Cora Fratori brings the ball across the timeline. Cora goes up with a three-pointer. It's no good. Rebound pulled down by the Eagles. Eagles working with the ball. Find an open player underneath. Re shot is no good. Rebound pulled down by the Cougars. Cora Fattori with the ball. Finds Alyssa Estep. 
Nice follow down the lane. Nice pass and shot by Grace Ellis. Real nice teamwork. Cougars extend their lead to 11. Rebound comes down to Alyssa Estep. Alyssa Estep takes it into the court. We got a travel called before the shot by Cora Fratori. Eagles inbound. Eagles with the ball. Abby Garrity brings it across the timeline. Ball comes into Blumenthal. Abby Garrity with a long shot. No good. Rebound pulled down by number 35 for the Cougars, Megan Zane. Molly Clifford to Cora Fratori. Nice shot by Grace Ellis. That's her second basket of this second half and her third, or she has six points on the night. Long three-pointer put up, in and out. Rebound, nice rebound pulled down by Sam Blumenthal. Foul called on Grace Ellis, that's her third. Sam Blumenthal to shoot two. First one's no good. Second shot up and good. You got a timeout called by Shanahan. So that leaves them with three and leaves the Cougars with three. So Cougars have gotten out to a nice start here. They've scored six points already in under four minutes of play. And the Eagles have scored only one on a foul shot. So the Cougars have extended their halftime lead of seven up to 12. Play resumes, it'll be Cougars ball. Cougars inbound under the Shanahan basket. Megan Zane into Cora Fratori. Cora brings the ball across the timeline. She goes to the net. Shot is no good. She's called for a personal foul. That's her fourth. So Kylie O'Donnell Number 10 comes in for the Cougars. Cougars playing a zone. That's a three second violation called on the Eagles. Tough defense there by the Cougars. They were playing a zone, but boy, it was a, a very mal malleable zone. It was moving all over the place. A nice job by the Cougars defense to get that turnover. Megan Zane with the ball. Finds Alyssa Estep. Molly Clifford with the ball. Megan Zane drives to the basket, puts a shot up. It's no good. Nice drive, but didn't get enough on the shot. Eagles down with the ball. Just over three minutes remaining here in the third quarter. Cougars it back into that zone defense. The shot goes out. Nice defense by Lisa Estep out there. Going after the shooter and then blocking her out and getting the rebound. Well done by Alyssa Estep. Cougars with the ball. 
Nice cut to the basket by Molly Clifford for the Cougars. She was fouled by number 10. That's her first as Lauren Foster. That's her first. Foul shot is up and good by Molly Clifford. That's Molly's first point on the night. Second shot, up and also good. So Molly has two points on the night. Cougars lead by 14. Ball walks out of bounds. <laughs> on that nice drive to the basket by Abby Wolf. I'm sorry, Taylor balling back, but she lost the ball out of bounds, so Cougars take possession. Molly Clifford with the ball, finds Megan Zane. Alyssa Estep. Loses the ball. Number 22 does a nice job driving to the basket. That's Abby Wolf. And she will go to the line to shoot two. Foul called on number 15. Now I have that as Grace's fourth foul. It's, it's, it's three in the book. Abby Wolf's. Free throw is good. Next one is up and also good. Cougars lead by 12, 33-21. Under two minutes now in the third quarter. Molly Clifford going to the basket and she's fouled. Foul called on number one. That's her first foul. That's Abby Garrity. So Molly Clifford will go to sh the line to shoot two. First one is good. So Molly gets another one. Second free throw is off. No good. Cougars in his own defense. Megan Zane comes down with that rebound. It was contested too and she came down with it. A minute remaining here in the third quarter. Cougars with a 13 point lead. Molly Clifford with the ball. Alyssa Estep. Megan Zane with the ball. Alyssa Estep with the ball. Back to Molly Clifford. Megan Zane. We're at about the 30 second mark here in the third quarter. Corin Gutton Williams. Corin Gutton Williams checks in for the Cougars. Corin Gutton Williams checks in for the Cougars. 28 seconds. Shanahan here with a chance to get the final bucket of the third quarter. Nice pass, nice shot. Goes off the back rim. It's no good. <laughs> Foul called on number 10. That's her second. Lauren Foster. It's the team's third, so it's not a shooting. So now we have 15 seconds remaining. That's a double dribble called. 
12 seconds. Shanahan with the ball. Eight seconds. Long shot, no good. Goes out of bounds, 3.6 seconds. Okay, so at the end of three quarters, Cougars lead 34 to 21. Cougars scored nine points in that quarter, and they held Shanahan to three points. The score at halftime was 25-18. So Cougars scored nine, and Shanahan scored only three. And those three were all on foul shots. Abby Wolf had two foul shots and made both of them. And Sam Blumenthal had two and made one. For the Cougars, Grace Ellis had two baskets for four points. Cora Fratori had a field goal for two points. Molly Clifford made three foul shots, three of four. So that adds up to the Cougars' total of nine points. So for players in foul trouble, Cora Fattori is playing with four. And for the Eagles, no one has more than two. Lauren Foster has two, and Fran Ducheski has two. Possession arrow belongs to the Cougars, so Eagles will inbound the ball side court. So Megan Zane will inbound. It goes into Alyssa Estep. Alyssa Estep out at the point. Finds Molly Carroll. Great move to the basket there by Alyssa Estep. She was fouled by number 15. That's Kayla Decker, that's her first. Alyssa's first foul shot is no good. Her second foul shot is up and good. Hoover's <laughs> lead by 14. <clears throat> Cougars in his own defense. Nice shot up in the air by number 15. That's Kayla Decker. That's the first field goal for the Eagles here in the second half. Alyssa Estep on a nice pass from Corin Gutton Williams underneath. One minute gone here. Shot is blocked by Molly Carroll. Lead pass is intercepted and stolen by the Eagles. Nice idea, but the Eagles were onto it and intercepted the pass. Twenty-two. Abby Wolf hits a three-pointer for the Eagles. We got another foul called on Abby Garrity. That's the second called. Number 13 for the Cougars. Lil Detrolio checks in for Kylie O'Donnell. Lil with the ball. Eagles showing full court pressure now. That pass is taken by Molly Carroll, puts up the shot, it's no good. Six and a half minutes remaining. Cougars in his own defense. It's kind of a matchup zone.
Corinne Gutton Williams goes down with that rebound. So Springfield calls timeout. And that on the scoreboard shows three remaining for both squads. Cougars with an 11 point lead with six minutes to go. Eagles have both have committed two fouls here in the fourth quarter. The Cougars have not been charged for any fouls yet. On the floor for the Cougars when we resume action. Number five, Molly Clifford. Number 11, Alyssa Estep. Number 40, Corinne Gutton Williams. Number 13, Lil Detrolio. And number 35, Megan Zane. So just one senior on the floor, and that's Corinne Gutton Williams. That's what these early season games for is for the coaching staff to give the underclassmen an opportunity to show what they can do while the coaching staff tries to figure out who are their, their top players. When we resume play here with just under six minutes, Cougars have the ball in the backcourt. Pass comes in to Lil Detrolio. Lil finds Molly Clifford. Molly Clifford with the ball finds Megan Zane, Megan gets the ball inside to Corinne Gutton-Williams. Corinne Gutton-Williams has her shot blocked by Sam Blumenthal. Nice defensive play there by Blumenthal. Lil Detrolio will inbound for the Cougars. The block shot went out of bounds. Pass goes to Molly Clifford. Long pass into the corner to Lil Detrolio. Back to Megan Zane. In the corner, and gotten Williams. Nice move to the basket. That's her first basket on the evening, and it came at a big time. Cougars now lead by 13. Just over five minutes remaining. Jump ball. Great hustle on that play by Lil Detrolio. And Megan Zane. Possession arrow belongs to the Eagles. Coming into the action is number 13, Sienna Land. Long three pointer put up, no good. Rebound pulled down <laughs> by Megan Zane. What a great blocks out. Fouls called on number 23. That's Taylor Ballenbach. That's her second personal foul. Checking in for the Cougars is number 14, Cora Fratori. She has four personal fouls. That pass was intercepted. by number 25, Sam Blumenfeld. Foul called on Molly Carroll. That's, that's her first. Shanahan will inbound under their own basket. Cougars defending a 13 point lead. Four and a half minutes remaining. That rebound comes down to Cora Vittori. Great efforts under the boards there. Particularly by Alyssa Estep. She's battling under there. Ball goes to Megan Zane. Goes to Alyssa Estep. Over to Lil Detrolio. Over to Corn. I'm sorry, over to Cora Vittori. Four minute mark. We're now halfway through the fourth quarter. Alyssa Estep on the drive. No good, rebound <laughs> stolen away by Corinne Gunn-Williams. 
That's her second basket, four points. Cougars with a 15-point lead with 3.35 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Shot is no good. Rebound pulled down by Corey Gutton Williams. She's playing her heart out at both ends of the court. What a great effort by Corin Gutton Williams. Providing some senior leadership for the squad. What a great job. Pass goes over to Cora for Tori. Passes to Alyssa Estep. Alyssa Estep drives to the basket. Shoots up a reverse layup. It's no good. Rebound pulled down by the Eagles. Just over three minutes. And we've got a walk called. Coming into the game is Fiona Ducheski for the Eagles. Megan Zane <coughs> inbounds to Cora Fattori. Under three minutes to play, ladies and gentlemen. We got a foul called on Fiona Ducheski. That's her third. Lil Detrolio will inbound the ball side court. Finds Cora Fattori. Under three to play. Ball comes over to Curran Gut Williams. To Alyssa Estep. To Cora Fattori. Cora drives, kicks it out. Megan Zane, a long three pointer. It's no good. What a play! Great pass from Curran Gut Williams. And a great layup by Megan Zane. What great teamwork. Shot goes up, no good. Ball comes out to number 22, no good. Corin Gunn Williams fights for that rebound and wins it. Foul called on Fiona Ducheski. That's her fourth. Cora will go to the line to shoot two because <clears throat> that is the fifth team foul on the Eagles. Shot is no good, off the mark. Macy Cougar checks in and Kira Schaffler checks in and number 22, Aaron Trude. Cougars up by 17. Cora can make it 18 with this foul shot. No good. Rebound. Cora got Williams on a tough rebound. The foul's called on number 25. That's Sam Blumenthal. That's her second. Cora got Williams will shoot two. It's no good. Number 42 checking in, Abby McFarlane. Abby is a freshman at Springfield High School. Corin Gutton Williams on the line, shooting her second. It's no good. She missed both. Two minutes. Eagles with the ball. Corin Gunn Williams with another rebound. She has been a force here in the second half on the boards. He got a foul called on Abby Wolf. That's her second. Team's sixth. So Corinne Gutton Williams will go to the line to shoot two more. She missed her first two. This one's up and good. Corinne's second foul shot up and good. Into the game for the Cougars is number 34. 
and she's not on my roster, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm sorry I can't give you her name. A minute and a half remaining, ladies and gentlemen. Cougars with a 19-point lead. Abby McFarland will inbound the ball in the corner. Inbounds pass goes into Aaron Trude. Oops, that's a travel for the Cougars. Number 42, Annie Udo. Annie Udo coming in for Shanahan. Under a minute and a half remaining here now. Good defense by the Cougars. Cougars keeping them outside so they're not getting any good looks. Under a minute to play now. That shot goes up and is good by Annie Udo. Ball tipped out of bounds by the Eagles. Coming into the game is number 40, Ali Bretz. Abby McFarland inbounds the ball to number 33 for the Cougars. That's Kira Schaffler. Cougars moving the ball around the perimeter. 35 seconds remaining in the game. We've got a foul called on number 40, Allie Bretz. That's her first foul. The team puts the Cougars in the bonus. the line for the Cougars. Is <laughs> number 34, and that's the player I don't have a name for, but at least she got on the board with her first foul shot. 25 seconds remaining, ladies and gentlemen. Both teams substituting liberally now as we've come to the end of the game. Cougars lead by 18, 13 seconds remaining. Ball tipped out of bounds by Aaron Trude. Eagles will inbound. Good defense by the Cougars, loose ball, stolen. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the final score. The Cougars with a 46 to 28 win. Cougars scoring 12 points in the fourth quarter and the Eagles scoring seven. I'll be putting together some scoring stats for you here in a moment. Uh, for the Cougars, the leading scorers, and there are two of them, one is Alyssa Estep with nine points, and Megan Zane, nine points. Alyssa is a junior at the high school, and Megan is a freshman. Other scores for the Cougars, with seven points, Cora Fratori, with six points, Grace Ellis, with five points, Kylie O'Donnell, Molly Clifford with three points on foul shots. All three of her points are foul shots. And one point for the Cougars by number 34. And I don't know who that is. And that is a final total for the Cougars of 46. For the Eagles, Lauren Foster had five points all in the first half. 
Sienna Land had one point in the first half. Kayla Decker had a field goal in the second half for a total of two. Abby Wolf scored 10 points. She's their leading scorer. Taylor Ballenbach scored two in the second half. Sam Blumenthal scored six points. And any Udo scored two points for their total of 28. So again, ladies and gentlemen, a nice effort here by the Lady Cougars <clears throat> against a team that has a very good reputation for good basketball. Now again, we understand they were a little bit shorthanded. A couple of their players were not able to play uh, because of an automobile accident and they were not cleared medically to play. So I think when they're on the floor, two players can make a really big difference. The next action for the Cougars is Thursday night when the girls will travel to Harriton and the boys will play a home game here against Harriton. However, that game will not be televised because of a school board meeting. Action after that for next week on Tuesday we will telecast the girls game on Tuesday against Marple Newtown and then Strathaven for the boys on Thursday December the 14th and then the girls will play Pancrest on Tuesday December the 19th and the final game before the holiday break is the girls game here on Thursday night, December the 21st against Radnor. So pretty much every Tuesday and Thursday between now and Christmas, we will have a televised game for you, except for this coming Thursday when there will be a school board meeting. Uh, we'll preempt the basketball game. So again, my name is Stan Johnson. It's been a pleasure broadcasting this game to you tonight. We hope you've enjoyed it. And we hope you will tune in again next Tuesday when the girls play against the Tigers of Marple Newtown. Good action tonight. A surprising win against uh, Bishop Shanahan, who is a very strong uh, team from Chester County. Uh, may have been a little bit lean, missing a few players tonight. Uh, but injuries happen. It's a part of the game. And hopefully... Shanahan will go on and have a good season, as will the Lady Cougars. So on behalf of our broadcast team,